1947, amid the post-war reconstruction and American occupation, the Asahi newspaper founded a new marathon. In 1954, it became the first race to begin bringing athletes from around the world to run in Japan, and within just a few years, the Fukuoka International Marathon became the championship of the world. But the landscape changes. Modernity comes at a cost. And in 2021, after 75 years, that history comes to an end. I've lived in Japan for over 20 years, and one thing that you find is that in every situation, there's a clear-cut, impermeable line between Nihon and Sekai, Japan and the world, inside and outside. You think of the inside, you think of all the great Japanese athletes who've run in Fukuoka. Three-time Olympian Akio Osami, Toshihiko Seiko has come from behind Wayne in 1983, Takayuki Nakayama's 101.55 first half in heavy rain in 1987, Atsushi Fujita's 206.51 national record in 2000, Tomoaki Kunichika, Toshinari Sua, and Toshinari Takaoka pushing each other to 207 in 2003. And the next generation Hakone Ekinen stars Yuma Hattori, Taka Fujimoto, and Yuya Yoshida's wins in 2018, 19, and 20. Their story is well known and well told in Japan. This is not that story. This is the inside story of the outside. I ran Fukuoka once in 2007 the year that future Olympic gold medalist Samuel Wanjiru of Kenya set a course record to win in his debut. But it's not my place to tell the story. Here to tell it, in their own words, are 75 of the people who together made Fukuoka international. Tak v Japonsku jsem běžel maraton asi šestkrát. Ty jednotlivé závody samozřejmě vzpomínají a se splývají. Ale ten jeden maraton se běžel v Utsunomii, protože právě ta silnice v Tokiu opravovala. Tam se vždycky sešla z celého světa protože to bylo atraktivní v Japonsku, tak se tam sešla veliká mezinárodní konkurence. A v těch závodech moje nejhorší umístění bylo páté místo. Jinak jsem obsadil všechna místa, ba i to první moje vítězství v Japonsku. A tu sošku, kterou tady mám, jsem v tom Japonsku vyhrál. Byla, měl jsem ještě další takovou lesošku, ale to, že mě náš ministr vnitra pustil startovat v Japonsku, tak jsem mu tu jednu sošku z, na památku a z úcty a poděkováním věnoval. Tak ostatní sošky máme doma ve strašnicích uložené. A tady jsem si nechal tuto jednu z nejhezčích sošek. Je to japonská nevěsta Geisha. Protože jsem ve svém životě mýval určité potíže, když jsem v zahraničí musel jedl, jíst cizí potravu, tak mě máš a vždycky na ty Závody do zahraničí připravila krásný piškot, dobrý piškot. A ty Japonci se mě často ptali, zda 
a proč jim piško před závodem a nejí jejich snídaní, jejich stravu. Tak jsem právě vyprávěl, že mývám problémy se svým zažívacím traktem. Tak tolik jenom k těm Japoncům, co jsem před závodem vždycky jedl, protože Máša mi připravila dobrou bábovku, dobrý piškot, který jsem si sebou vozil. A tak někdy ty Japonci chtěli vědět, jak to chutná, a místo, abych já ten piškot celý mohl sníst, tak si ho rozebrali a stěnli mě ho. <laughs> tak to je jedna ze vzpomínek, které já na to v Japonsku mám, ale byl to jeden z nejkrásnějších závodů, který jsem opakovaně, na který jsem opakovaně byl zván a vždycky jsem skončil mezi prvními závodníky. Takže Japonci si myslím, že mě měli docela rádi na tom startu a že mě opakovaně zvali. Zatímco, a taky jsem se uměl dobře společensky chovat. Zatímco někteří závodníci, ať už byli z Finska, ze severu, se chovali, abych tak řekl, nedůstojně. Zajímali je víc japonské gejši než vlastní závod. A tak já jsem byl opakovaně do toho Japonska zván jako vážený host, zatím co ty Fíny a Švédy tam pozvali jednou, který po závodě vyhledávali všude mocně nějaký gejši a víc se tam nezvali. Tolik snad na úvod. Letošní rok už se koná závod po 70. po 75. prostě ročníku a je mi strašně líto, že ten slavný, jeden z nejslavnějších maratonů, který jsem kdy v životě běžel, bude letos posledním ročníkem. Je to ohromná škoda, protože takovou tradici, jako měl maraton ve Fukuoce, mezinárodní, 75 letou tradici, je to skutečně velká škoda, že ten závod končí. To je to skutečně slavný závod. A já jsem celkem běžel až šestkrát. A rád vzpomínám na ten rok 1961, kdy jsem mu ve velké mezinárodní konkurenci vyhrál. Ale je to ohromná škoda z mezinárodního hlediska. One of my life's greatest athletic memories was the week in Fukuoka, participating and winning what was then called the Asahi Marathon. It was later changed to the Fukuoka International Marathon, which in 1960 was one of the three most prestigious marathons in the world. The hospitality, the organising was absolutely first class. We were treated like kings and it was, it was just marvellous. The race itself was a double bonus for, for me by winning it and also being the first runner in Asia to break the 2 hour 20 barrier in a marathon when the world record was 2.15. To me it was one of the most satisfying marathons I ever ran. Extra special too to be the first New Zealander uh, marathoner to win an international marathon. I can honestly say that winning Fukuoka was one of the career highlights in my life and ranks only second to the Olympic bronze medal at the Olympic Games in Rome. The medal with Mr. Kanaguri on the front, weighing nearly three kilograms, is still the biggest ever that I had. But sadly, I lost my prize of a Seiko clock on the way home at Hong Kong Airport, never to be seen again, which makes me smile. But anyway, the feelings about this final event this year are quite sad 
because um, I would love other people to have the memories that I had of the great hospitality of Japan and the Fukuoka Marathon. But I understand with COVID-19, nothing quite might be the same again. But I say thank you, Fukuoka, for a wonderful memory. Thank you. My greetings to the people of Japan and to the wonderful people I met there during my six visits. Five times to run in your famous marathon event and one time to witness the 50th anniversary. Also, my great gratitude to Asahi Shimbun for their sponsorship. The wonderful competition from the tough Japanese athletes and the sponsored overseas competitors, many of whom have proven to be the world's best. My country has been privileged to host your marathon runners on occasions. Your event has been of considerable help in producing a strong marathon contingent in this country, and we are grateful that our athletes have been invited so often. It leaves sadness in my heart that this opportunity will be lost to all countries' young athletes seeking to find their place on the international stage as a step to higher achievements. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to be with you all at this time. Jeff Julian. Matt, Matt. Sütől jó is a Hungary. 1965-ben Magyarországon volt egy japán delegáció, és ugyan abban az időpontban volt a, a Magyar Bajnokság maratóniba, miután ezt megnyertem, nagy szeretettel meghívtak az októberi Fukókai Nemzetközi Maratóni versenyre, ami az Asai újság hívott meg. Nagy szeretettel indultam el, nagyon jó formában voltam, életem második legjobb idejét futottam, két óra 20 körül, és ezzel a legjobb külföldi voltam, nyolcadik helyen ért véget a versenynek. Nagyon sajnálom, hogy ebben az évben lesz az utolsó igazán nagy élmény volt Fukókában lenni, és nagyon sajnálom, és további jó egészséget kívánok a szervezőknek. Köszönöm szépen! It is of great sadness to learn of the cessation of the Fukuoka Marathon. Competing in the event, its organization and its obvious pleasure to the citizens of Fukuoka will be missed. I enjoyed the time pre-race meeting people, getting to know the competitors, both domestic and international, and knowing that the competition would be of the highest order. The excitement of the spectators and the very best of the domestic and international competition helped make it a memorable occasion. Personally, my competing in the event led to my Olympic representation for my country and the realization that the Fukuoka Marathon was incidental in my selection for the Mexico Olympics. Fukuoka's standing and my performance there was for me a highlight of my athletic career which will always remain along with my Japanese memories. Greetings from Australia. Yeah, very sad news to hear that the, uh, that the Fukuoka Marathon after all these years is is finishing up. For me personally, it's been a real happy memory. Been a long time now, since 1967. Yeah, but very happy memories, one I'll never forget. Of course, the main reason was I went off to Fukuoka not really thinking I was a marathon runner. I'd um, sort of ran 218 about four months before I went there, then won the Australian Marathon Championship, and because of that, was selected to go and run in Fukuoka in December 1967. Uh, my intention was to put up a reasonable performance and hang in there and try to finish in as high a position as I could. I never dreamt I'd be running as fast as what I ended up running. And I was a bit overawed by 
the enthusiasm of the Japanese for marathon running, and in particular the classy feel, which I'd never run against before, obviously. And, um, and so I decided just to hang it in as long as I could. And that's exactly what I did. I think there would have been close to 20 of us in the lead pack. And that kept on reducing and reducing and reducing and until there was only two of us left. And that was the Japanese runner and myself. And then he dropped off, I think, with about 10k to go, which kind of surprised me. And I found myself in the lead. And I thought, gee, what, what, what do I do? Am I running too quick? I was kind of half expecting to blow up, actually. So I kept on pushing as fast as I could, not dreaming about how fast, not even thinking about how fast I was running. And then when I crossed the finishing line, I was elated to think that I had won. That was the only thing in my mind. I was feeling pretty tired, I've got to admit. But it wasn't for quite some time that I realised, gee whiz, I'd run really quick. My interpreter then webbed a piece of paper in front of me and on it was written 209.36. Well, I thought he meant 219.36 and he left the one off. Uh, because everyone was chattering away in Japanese and I really couldn't understand what all the fuss was about. And then anyway, it suddenly dawned on me that I'd, I'd run that fast and the first person ever to break 210. And I was completely elated, surprised, shocked, elated, all these things going through my mind. And um, yeah, it was an experience that, how could I ever forget that? I, I, I'll never forget it. And um, I guess... When you do something when it's least expected, that's when it's the more, the more thrilling. And um, the experience of being rushed off with a police escort to the various TV stations to give interviews, I'll always remember that. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll live with the memory of Fukuoka for the rest of my life. And as I say, I'm very sad to see that after 75 years, there'll be no more Fukuoka marathons. Good luck from Australia. Bye-bye. My name is um, Jim Alder. I run for Morpeth Harriers, a little town in, in the north of England. In the early 60s, um, Britain and, and Japan were the main marathon running countries in the world. Britain had nine men that were winning world records, major games, Commonwealth European Olympics, there was no world championships, um, international cross country, and these nine men were winning. All of us were married men, we all had um, children, and we all were full-time workers, and none of us had a coach. I wonder how good we would have been if we, if we could have had coaches. Japan used to send two teams to run in the British Championships. And back in the 60s, never mind Chicago and, and Boston and, and Berlin, the biggest marathons in the world were London, uh, for Britain, Cossis in uh, Czechoslovakia, where um, the Olympic champion um, Emil Zatope used to run that one, Enschede in Holland, and, and then Fukuoka in uh, Japan at the end of the year. That was in December. Now, my memories of, the, of, of going to that, I only went to the race once, and um, what, you were invited, uh, and, that's it, and myself and a team manager travelled out a week before the race. The flight was memorable. We were up in the air over, over Iceland, heading towards uh, Greenland, when the, the Japanese captain of Japan Airlines spoke in Japanese and the Japs all sat out, uh, fast enough to eat belts, then in English. We are returning to London Airport. We have an engine engine fault. We're going to jettison a lot of fuel. You'll see some mist on the windows. Don't be alarmed. It was terrible. When we got up the second time, we were only up for 20 minutes when he returned. And they said, I'm going to put us up in a hotel and fly us um, to Japan the next day. I said to the team manager, one more um, what it turn back and I'm quitting. Um, I'm not going anymore. I'm warning you now. Anyway, the third one was okay. Seven hours up to Scotland, across the North Pole, to Anchorage in Alaska. Now, in 1967, the Vietnam War was on and it was full of young American soldiers and airmen and they were going to Vietnam and our plane load. I got talking to a young lad, 19, he was terrified. I don't know whether he's alive or dead. I'll never forget that, that incident, meeting all these uh, servicemen in uh, Alaska. Anyway, when we got to the race, the hospitality, fantastic, um, as always, the Japanese hospitality. The race itself um, was won by a man called Derek Clayton, a former Englishman, who uh, was 19 when, when he eventually went to Australia, and that was it. But, uh, and he was the type of man, if you let him get away, he built and built and built, and he broke the world record. And uh, I finished fifth. 
and there was about a million people, Japanese people, turned out to watch uh, that race. It was fantastic. So for this race to be ended this year, I find it very sad. It was one of the top four in the world for many, many years, and every top marathoner in the world has run it. In 1969, Bill Adcox, who'd been fifth in, in the Olympics and one of our Britain's um, top nine men, beat the Olympic champion by five minutes in, the, in Fukuoka and he won it. And he was a superb runner. He was number one in the world at that time. So but Billy Ackwood's career was finished um, um, not long afterwards because of back trouble. But on his day, number one in the world. This is Bill Adcox. Great Britain, Northern Ireland marathon runner of the 60s and early 70s. It was with great sadness that I heard that the Fukuoka Marathon would be no longer after this year. This race holds a very special place in my athletic memories and history for a number of reasons. First of all, back in the 60s, going to the other side of the world to run was an experience or a, an opportunity which wasn't to be missed. So I took up the offer of a run in Japan. Uh, it was going to be my fourth marathon of the year, which had included a 2.12 and a fifth place in the Olympic Games in Mexico City. So I went there fairly heavily loaded with the racing and training for the year had no expectations and in the end i came away a winner and with a lot of very very special memories which i'll never forget and one to which i owe the japanese organizers and the country as a whole a great debt so thank you and all the best to all the marathon runners that might be continuing along the line somewhere Benim adım İsmail Akçay. Türkiye adına spor hayatımda 40 maraton koştum. Ama benim için 3 yerdeki maraton çok önemli ve çok bende büyük bir iz bırakmıştır. Daha önemlisi o ülkeler, birisi Japonya'daki Fukuoka maratonu, birisi Meksika'daki olimpiyat, birisi de dünya şampiyonası Las Vegas Amerika'daki. Ama Size e, ilginç olan bir, de, bir şey daha söyleyeyim. Samim olarak söylüyorum. Bana Japonya'da ayağımı giymem için çünkü ilk olarak özellikleri olan ayakkabılar vardı. Maratoncunda ilk özelliği olan değişik bir tip bana e, asık taygır bir ayakkabı verdi. Ve o ayakkabıyla koşmuştum. Çok iyi dereceler elde ettim. İnanın bana. Ve Türkiye'ye geldiğim zaman herkes o ayakkabıdan benden isterlerdi. Ben de elimden kaynaklı kadar iyi sporcular bu ayakkabılardan hep veriyordum, getiriyordum, getirip veriyordum. Fakat son zamanlarda zaten spor sporluktan çıkmıştı. Spor bir ülkenin, bir şeyin en büyük reklamıdır. Ama maraton bambaşka. Ama ben daha her zaman söylüyorum, o samim olarak söylüyorum, o Asik Tiger ayakkabısı benim başarımın yüzde ellisini etkilemiştir başarılarımın. Gerçi eskidi ama olsun. O bakımdan fakat son zamanlarda kulağıma bir e, şey geldi. Çok üzüldüm. Fukuoka Maratonu'nun iptal olacakmış, son olacakmış diye kulağıma bir şey geldi. Hakikaten eğer öyle bir şey olursa çok üzülürüm. İştenlikle devam etmesini istiyorum. Bu en büyük reklamdır. İnşallah bundan sonra da daha o Fukuoka Maratonu'nda devam eder ve herkes teşekkür ederim. Hi, my name is Ambie Burfoot. I was the winner of the 1968 Boston Marathon and also ran in the Fukuoka Marathon in 1968. I finished fifth at Fukuoka in 2.14.29. At the time, the American record in the marathon was 2.14.28. I only wish someone had been there to tell me to sprint a little harder at the finish line. Running Fukuoka was one of the great thrills of my lifetime, and I will be very sorry to see the race end.
My, I got my, my name is Kenny Moore, and I ran four, uh, different Fukuoka marathons. And from 1969 through, through 1972. So, uh, I've, I've been there through a lot of history, Frank, your history on and on. The, the screen painting that you see behind me is a sentimental uh, souvenir of my American record in 1969. I, back in the next year, running against Usami, I got close, but not quite the, uh, our American record, even though I got faster from 2.11. To, uh, to 11.36. And so, all four of the Bukoko marathons are incredibly good, high courses, high speedy courses, or, uh, you know, basically, that was my wish to do what I did, and I did a lot of that. Hello, I'm Frank Shorter. And in 1971, 72, 73, and 74, I ran in the Fukuoka Marathon and was fortunate enough to win. And I'll never forget it because I've always felt that Fukuoka is where I was born as a marathon runner. The first time I got off the plane in 1971, I stepped on the tarmac and met the organizing committee and I just had this feeling that their goal was to make things as easy as possible for the invited athletes so that they could just focus on their upcoming performances and not have to worry about anything else. I don't know why, I just felt very at home in Fukuoka City. And I'll never forget that in that first race, that is where I learned to be a front runner. I employed that tactic then managed to finish ahead of Akio Usami, the defending champion. And the next year, I employed the same tactic in the Olympic Marathon in Munich, and I won there as well. I'll never forget our translator, Ichi Shibuya. We English speakers came to adore him. I was impressed by the fact that he always took his annual vacation from the Japanese National Railroad to volunteer as a translator for we English-speaking runners, and we had a wonderful time. At that time, in the early 1970s, it really was the world championships when we came to Fukuoka, because the Soviet bloc nations were not allowing their athletes out to compete against the West on an annual basis. They only went to the Olympics every four years, so indeed Fukuoka was the World Championships. So thank you, Fukuoka. Thank you so much for starting me off as a marathoner. I had a wonderful career, and it all began in 1971 in Fukuoka. Hello, my name is Brian Armstrong from Canada, second place finisher in the 1973 Fukuoka Marathon. Uh, certainly uh, competing at Fukuoka was the high point of my marathon running career. It has long been recognized as the premier marathon in the world and I'm very proud to say that I competed there. Thank you. Bye. Sanotaan, että ne on aika hyviä muistoja, että, että reitti oli, oli mun mielestä niin ihanteellinen reitti, että siinä ei, se oli melko tasainen, eikä siinä ollut pahoin mutkia. Että ainoa, ainoa mutka oikeastaan oli, kun se käännettiin takaisinpäin. Muutenkin oli järjestelyitä ihan hyvät kisat. No, se juostiin... 
se niin kuin, olisi se nyt 500 metriä sitten sitä urheilukenttää. Ja siinä kun mentiin sitten, että oltiin lähdössä ihmiselle kierrokselle, niin, niin Frank Solter varotti siinä, oli se australialainen, oli kärjessä siinä vaiheessa meistä kolmesta. Se varotti sitä, että varoit sieltä että tuo maileri perässä. <laughs> ja sitten ihan palkata jossakin, niin, niin Sorter ihmetteli, että miten on, juoksee maratonin tuommoista vauhtia ja sitten kuitenkin alle 3-40 tonni vitosen. Se on mun mielestäni niin harmi, että ne, se on kuitenkin mun mielestä niin oli, oli hyvä maraton, että se oli, se oli kaikin puolin niin kuin se reittinä hyvä, että ne, et en tiedä sitten, onko, onko sitten vaan, että et, et järjestelyt tulla nykyään niin paljon kalliiksi, että ei kannata. No, sanoisin, että kyllä se olisi ihan hyvä pitää siellä, että pitää sitten, ei, ei ota ihan niitä kaikki huippuja sinne, jos ne tulee niin kalliiksi. Pitäisi kuitenkin elossa sen maratonin. Hi, Jerome Drayton speaking Canada. Boston Marathon winner and three-time Fukuoka Marathon winner. I'm sorry to hear that the Fukuoka Marathon has been discontinued after 75 years. To me, after the uh, Olympic Marathon, the Fukuoka Marathon is, was the most prestigious marathon in the world. It was labeled the unofficial world championship only because official world championships in track and field and the marathon did not exist until about 1983. In addition to uh, Japanese runners competing for the Japanese national championship, the Fukuoka Marathon organizers invited about 15 top international marathoners to take part in this event. I won this event three times in 1969 to 11.13, 1975 to 10.09, which was also a Canadian marathon record for 43 years, and in 1976 to 12.35. My victories there enabled me to become ranked number one in the world in the marathon in 1969, number two in 1975, and number five in 1976. I want to thank the Fukuoka Marathon organizers for inviting me in 1969, 1975, and 1976. It gave me important marathon experiences and lifelong wonderful memories. I hope the Fukuoka Marathon will be reinstated and rejoin the group of gold label international marathons such as Boston, Chicago, New York, Berlin, London and Tokyo. Thank you very much and all the best. Bye bye from Canada. Well, I'd finished third in the Australian Championships in 2019-44, and that gave me a qualifying time to run in the Fukuoka Marathon. So I thought, being close to Australia and it's uh, my first chance to get away for an international race, I uh, I went up there and, and ran in the first race, uh, my first race in 74. I finished 12th and ran 2.16, which beat my PB by about three minutes, and um, then that qualified me, then got invited back the next year, 1975. It was beautiful conditions. It was very calm, cool, and the course is extremely fast. And I remember I got dropped off at about just after halfway, but there were about five or six guys in front of me, and I managed, and they dropped off Jerome Drayton, who was leading, and spaced them out about 50 metres apart. And I ran each one of them down and got back up to sort of take the lead with about, oh, probably 5k to go. But then I cramped very badly in the legs, and I'd never been that fast before in my life. So I was a bit dubious about whether I'd make it to the finish line. So I just eased up a bit and Jerome took over again and beat me by about eight, nine seconds. I couldn't believe I'd run that fast. And when the interpreter came up to me and told me the time, because there was no clocks, or, I said, no, no, you got it wrong, mate. Come check it again. <laughs> Is it true that at that stage of the marathon record that you had run the fastest ever second place in a major marathon? Well, I did find that out later, yeah. <laughs> You were treated like royalty. You went from Australia when nobody or hardly anybody outside the athletic circles knew you, and they just looked after you very well. You know, good hotels, plenty of support when, whenever you went out, interpreters sort of going with you, organising meals and touristy sort of things to do. It just gave you that, it might, for me, the international experience I needed before I, taking on some of those other races like the Olympics and, um, in Boston.
This is Ian Thompson talking about the 1976 marathon in Fukuoka. Yes, I do have very good memories of that race. It was a race of redemption for me, having uh, missed out on the opportunity to go to the Olympics in 76. So I was very pleased when I had a good run in Fukuoka. Terrific race, lovely people, wonderful hospitality. A special race that I do remember particularly because I set off quite slowly, not feeling that great. But uh, halfway through the race, I seemed to sort of wake up, uh, had a great uh, surge and uh, finished really strongly. About one of the few races where I've really thought I could have done with an extra mile or two as I was catching Jerome Drayton uh, uh, hand over fist towards the end of the race. Obviously very sad to hear that the race is uh, being uh, dropped. Um, always was one of the highlights of the year for marathon runners. And um, yeah, sad to hear that it's uh, not going to be taking place anymore. Hello, my name is Bill Rogers. I just wanted to salute the Fukuoka International Marathon Committee, the organizing committee, and thank them very much for inviting me to the Fukuoka International Marathon in 1975. And it was my first big international marathon and it was such an honor to run there. I still remember receiving the invitation in the mail. Fukuoka has been an absolutely wonderful marathon over 75 years and everyone wanted to run Fukuoka. It was that special and that important. And um, I'm sorry to see that the race is coming to a close but the memories of the race, I think, will always be there. They'll be there for me, that is for sure. I won at one time, very proud of having had that opportunity to race there. And uh, I want to thank you once again. Very best wishes. Ярвид Масеев из России. Мне посчастливилось быть участником Фукокского марафона в 1977 году и 1978. Организаторы Фукокского марафона делают все, чтобы участники размещались, питались, чтобы все было на высшем уровне. И это у них получается. Поздравляю с 75-й годовщиной и желаю организаторам великолепного проведения марафонов, а участникам красивых побед и высоких личных результатов. Пользуясь случаем, я хотел бы передать огромный привет друзьям-соперникам. Это Биллу Роджерсу, Масима Маньяне, братьям Со. Здоровья, благополучия, всего хорошего. А это фото 70, 1977 года, где на пьедестале мы стоим с Биллом Роджерсом, Масимом Маньяне. Я вас обнимаю, желаю вам всего, всего самого наилучшего. Спасибо. Massimo Magnani from Italy. I competed in Fukuoka 1977. I'm deeply saddened that this race will be not held anymore because it represents an important pillar of the history of the marathon. Fukuoka was my first marathon uh, on Japan uh, and one of my first important placements in my career. I will never forget the meticulous attention to the details by the organizers and their kind of hospitality, which perfectly represents the values of the country. Fukuoka will be always in my best memory and I still have my medal with me. Hello, my name's Bernie Ford. I'm an ex-GB track, road and cross-country international. In 1979, I was invited to run in the Fukuoka International Marathon, a race with a worldwide reputation for its fantastic organisation and fast course, 
a guarantee of fast times. It was only my second marathon, but I was well prepared and expected to do well in the race. In the event, I finished fourth in a time of 2 hours 10 minutes 51 seconds behind Toshiko Seko of Japan, who ran 2 hours 10 minutes 35 seconds. The So Twins were second and third, making me the first non-Japanese athlete to finish. What I remember most about Fukuoka is the superb way we were treated by the organisers of the race from the moment we arrived in Fukuoka to the race itself. I also remember the friendliness of the people and their fantastic support on the course. It's a race that I always remember with fond memories. I'm Karel Lisman from Belgium. I was two times a medalist in the Olympics uh, in the marathon. In 72, I was second in the marathon of Munich and in uh, 1976, I was third in the marathon of Montreal. I was also participating in the marathons of the Olympic Games in Moscow and in uh, LA. In 1980, I was third in the marathon uh, from Fukuoka, but I was not in, in good shape but for me it was a nice opportunity to see another part of the world. The welcome in Fukuoka was uh, very well and still now I'm glad that I was in that year in Fukuoka. It's very regrettable that a nice marathon like Fukuoka is uh, done now. After 75 years with the best runners of the world, I hope uh, that perhaps another organization will take a new marathon of Fukuoka. Hi guys, Rob Vigastella here. And uh, just sending a little message to uh, acknowledge the great Fukuoka Marathon. Uh, for me, as a young fellow, I first ran it in 1980 off the, the back of the Moscow Olympics. And uh, it was always the world championship of marathon before the, the world championship of athletics started. I went there, had an incredible year that first year, ran 2.10.44. And from then on, I realized that that was uh, what I was going to do. I was going to focus on being the best marathon runner that I could possibly be and hopefully one of the best in the world. And in 1980, I, I off the back of Fukuoka, committed myself to come back in 12 months' time and run again. And for me, that marathon uh, in December 1981 was a turning point in my career. Uh, I had an incredible race, set the, the world record, won, and it really catapulted me onto the world stage and enabled me to, to go on through the 80s and to continue to race all over the world. I have great memories of uh, the organisers, the actual crowd. Uh, there's no other country in the world that appreciates and understands and is as passionate about the marathon as the Japanese. And all of the people of Fukuoka, I uh, acknowledge and pay my respects to you for putting on and supporting such an incredible event for so long. Um, I'm very sad to hear that the event is being wound up. I guess, you know, sort of uh, these sorts of things happen, but it really was one of the great marathons of the world and it enabled so many runners uh, around the world to compete in an elite only race. There's very few of those events anywhere on the, the world stage now. Most of them are now mass participation, but the Fukuoka Marathon was the world championship of all marathons and forever, I'll be grateful. Those memories will live with me forever and all the very best to everyone who's been involved in it. I'm Gian Limpoli from Italy. I ran in Fukuoka Marathon in 1981. It was a great experience. It was my first important marathon. I finished in fourth place with a time to 11.19. 
with my first Italian record. After that result, I ran in all the important marathons in the world. And after New York City Marathon that I won in 1986, Fukuoka Marathon is in the second place. Fukuoka Marathon, after 40 years, is still in my heart. Bye from Italy. Hey there, uh, I am Tamir Kasson, uh, Sweden. I ran the Fukuoka Marathon twice. I did my best result in 1981, when I finished uh, seventh in 212. Uh, before I went to Fukuoka, I was told that you had the possibility to do a good time there, because at the first half of the race you will have tailwind, and at the turning point uh, the wind will change direction, and for the second half you will have tailwind as well. But of course, that, that did not happen. But I liked Fukuoka, had a good time there, I remember the race as a professional arrangement and uh, there were a lot of sharing people along the road. So it's sad that there will be no more Fukuoka marathons, but I guess that, that's life. Everything is changed. That includes my weight and my running pace. Bye bye. Uh, dear friends, my name is Vladimir Kotova. I am from a uh, Soviet Union athletes. In 1980, I ran Olympic Games in Moscow, where I finished first position with time 2.12.05. And uh, my best time in marathon 2.10.58, also 1980, when I broke in Soviet Union records. In 1981, I, I ran Fukuoka marathon, where I finished eighth position with time 2.12. 25. It was very fast race. If you know that this race, Australian athletes Robert De Castella broken a world record. Uh, I got the uh, information that unfortunately uh, Fukuoka um, Marathon after 75 years is closed. I understand that situation in world with COVID-19 is bad but I believe that Japanese Athletics Federation will find an opportunity for return this marathon to the elite of the world. Hi, I'm Paul Bellinger from New Zealand. One of my greatest uh, achievements in athletics was to win the 1982 Fukuoka Marathon. I remember that day uh, vividly, it was great temperature, 12 degrees, and uh, there was a headwind heading out to the turnaround, but um, it was pretty good conditions. With the race, because of the headwind out, there was a big bunch to the turn, and we got out there, I think it was 66, 30, so it's quite slow for that sort of race, but um, everything changed the course when we turned around with a tailwind. The bunch quickly uh, became smaller and smaller until we got down to nearly 30k and there was only two of us left. To get to 30k I was just about flat out the whole way because uh, I wasn't running much slower than my best best times for that just for the last half marathon. So from there on Ito surged very hard several times and then finally he started to slow so I surged on him and the last 10 car ran on my own and got into the finish and won by quite a bit really but I remember the finish, a big crowd in the stadium spurring me on and it's something I'll never forget. Good day, well, my name is Bob Hodge, I'm a former American runner. Back in the 1970s and 80s, I traveled four times to Japan to compete. And at Fukuoka, I competed in 1982. And I just want to say that I'm sad to see this race after 75 years of tradition is to be no more. I think the races of this type with the small elite fields was really a model that should be continued. But the Fukuoka will be the last of its kind 
And uh, I think that uh, marathon running as an activity, you know, as athletics, we need to have our kind of uh, U.S. Open or Wimbledon or Masters uh, kind of tournament. And I think that's what Fukuoka kind of embraced. In any case, things change and athletics has changed a great deal in the years since I competed and so now we have mass participation, which is which is a good thing. But I still think that it showcases the elite. Uh, that's how you have a sport. Otherwise, unless it's presented very well, television is critical, then it's something different, more along the lines of a parade. But in any case, thank you for your moments. And here's to running and marathon running. My name is Jumai Kanga. I'm sending this uh, video to say the memories I have about the Fukuoka Marathon, in which has uh, a lot of memories in my mind that I competed in 1983 as a qualifying race to the uh, Olympic Games in LA Olympics. It was a very competitive race and uh, it happened that I became second and uh, a Japanese, Toshiki Koseko, who is a friend of mine, won the race. So please, uh, convey my greetings which I have written through the, the email which is brought to you. Thank you very much. My name is Michael Heilmann. Ich bin heute Physiotherapeut in meinem Heimatort. Wie man sieht, ist Fukuoka für mich schon eine Weile her. Ich bin in den 80er Jahren mehrfach in Fukuoka gelaufen. Fukuoka ist einer der ganz großen Marathonveranstaltungen in der Welt. Immer hervorragend, liebevoll, perfekt organisiert mit Menschen die an der Strecke uns Läufer zu zigtausenden unterstützten. Fukuoka ist mit Sicherheit einer der Marathonläufer mit der höchsten Leistungsdichte, besonders mit den fantastischen japanischen und auch internationalen Läufer. Für mich war es immer ein großes Erlebnis, mit und gegen die Großen der Weltklasse in Fukuoka zu starten. Und als DDR-Sportler konnte ich auch ein bisschen Star sein, ein bisschen den Ruhm genießen. Fukuoka hat für mich immer eine positive Erinnerung. Ich kann nur sagen, danke Fukuoka. Hola, mein Name ist Manuel Matias, de Portugal. Participei na Maratona de Fukuoka por cinco vezes seguidas. O meu melhor resultado foi em 1989 em que fui vencedora, em todo o caso, em 1994, 1994 uh, fui segundo classificado, a poucos, a poucos segundos do primeiro. É uma maratona que me ficou muito, muito na memória, pelas pessoas em si, pelo carinho que sempre me foi dado em Fukuoka. Posso considerar mesmo que Fukuoka será a minha segunda casa. Houve um tempo da minha vida em que pensei mesmo em viver para Fukuoka. Não aconteceu, derivado à família, não é? teria que levar a família, isso tornava-se complicado. Mas foi para mim um, um ponto marcante na, na, na história da minha vida, portanto faz parte da história da minha vida. E estou muito grato a, às pessoas e à organização da Maratona de Fukuoka. Fica o meu, o meu lamento por, por terminar agora. Penso que é uma maratona que tem uma história, uma história muito grande eh, em termos dos, dos, dos nomes que passaram por, por, por esta competição e espero que um dia possam retomar. Muito obrigado, Fukuoka. Eh, muito obrigado às pessoas eh, que sempre me acarinharam, às pessoas de Fukuoka. Tenho eh, muita gente como, como admiradores, como fãs e gostaria muito ainda até de voltar a Fukuoka. Espero que um dia o possa fazer. Obrigado, Fukuoka. Obrigado a todas as pessoas envolvidas neste, neste, nesta organização, organização 
que sempre foi exemplar na, na forma de receber e tratar as pessoas. Muito obrigado a todos. Fiquem bem. Obrigado. Hallo, mein Name ist Konrad Dubler, ich komme aus Deutschland und ich war 1989 beim Fukuoka Marathon am Start. Die Erinnerungen an diesen Lauf, das sind eigentlich zwei Dinge. Zum einen am 3. Dezember 1989 hatten wir für die örtlichen Verhältnisse eigentlich schwierige Bedingungen, es war sehr, sehr warm mit 15 bis 20 Grad und entsprechend auch viel Gegenwind, gerade im letzten Drittel der Strecke. Ich persönlich war mit meinem Rennen sehr, sehr zufrieden. Es war mein zweiter internationaler Marathon und mit dem sechsten Platz habe ich eigentlich das erfüllt, was ich mir so erhofft hatte. Und das zweite Bemerkenswerte an diesem Lauf war eben der 3. Dezember 89, knappe vier Wochen vorher, war in Berlin der Mauerfall am 19. November. Die Grenzöffnung der Staaten damals, zum einen Bundesrepublik Deutschland und zum anderen die DDR. Und in Fukuoka am 3. Dezember war auch Rainer Wachenbrunner da aus Ostberlin mit am Start. Wir hatten uns im Hotel dann getroffen in Fukuoka und aufgrund der gegebenen Situation, der Freiheiten, die eben waren, konnten wir ganz ungezwungen miteinander sprechen. Wir hatten also schöne Momente, konnten Erinnerungen, konnten gemeinsame Dinge mit austauschen. Und ich glaube, das war auch für mich so das wirklich Interessante bei diesem Marathon in Fukuoka. Der Zeitungsbericht von damals, den habe ich noch. Das ist also diese original japanische Zeitungsbericht. Die haben natürlich auch über diese Möglichkeit und dieses Ereignis berichtet. Mit Rainer haben wir dann viele, viele Jahre zusammen noch entsprechende Wegkämpfe auch beschritten. 75. Austragung, es ist leider die letzte vom Fukuoka Marathon. Ich wünsche natürlich für diesen Lauf alles, alles Gute und sage auch vielen herzlichen Dank allen Organisatoren für diesen wunderbaren und ich glaube doch einzigartigen Marathon auf der Welt. Und die Siegerliste zeigt auch alle bedeutenden Marathonläufer der letzten Jahrzehnte mit auf. Und ich sage leider der letzte Lauf und in dem sind alles Gute. Sayonara Fukuoka. Hello! My dear beloved people of Japan, to all the organizers of Fukuoka Marathon Committee and to all my fans in the country, I send my sunset greetings. During the 1989 Fukuoka Marathon, One of the memory I will never forget is the time I was running very close to the stadium but missing the marathon and finishing the race in second place. Thank you very much. Domo arigato. Gozamasta. Goodbye. Saonara. Hi, I'm Mike Agroli from the UK. I uh, just learned that Fukuoka Marathon is coming to its uh, final race after 75 years. Very disappointing to hear that. I ran the Fukuoka Marathon seven consecutive times from 1990 through to 1996. In my first Fukuoka, I finished third. In 1993, I set my personal best, which was 2 hours, 10 minutes and 39 seconds. And then in my last Fukuoka Marathon in 1996, I had the pleasure of finishing stone dead last. And that was the cue for me that the time for doing professional marathon running was over. Um, and that was the last time I ran professionally. Like I say, it's, it's very disappointing to hear that Fukuoka is coming to an end after 75 years. I have a lot of fond memories of it, met some great people over the years and loved Japan, raced there 17 times in total. And I have here a few items which I've kept over the years from my participation in Fukuoka. 
So on this one, this is um, from the 44th Fukuoka Marathon. Uh, when I finished third, that was the award we were given. Um, this is <coughs> from one of the programs. Not sure what year that would have been. Might have been 1994 program. And <coughs> this one was very interesting. This was the book which was produced for the 50th anniversary of the Fukuoka Marathon. And it has all of the history of the race from when it first started up to the 50th anniversary. Um, so I've kept these and you know they're nice mementos to have. Konnichiwa and hello from Germany. My name is Stefan Freigang. My personal best marathon is 2.09.45. I've got the bronze medal in the Barcelona Olympics marathon 1992 and I run the Fukuoka marathon 1988 and 1990. It was uh, one of my most favorite uh, runs and I remember very well <laughs> of this race. You see I've got this uh, uh, plate from this event. It's now in my hand. So all my thoughts also in my mind. I remember very well to Japan and I wish all the athletes, all the organizers very best for the anniversary this year. Keep on running, be healthy and many greetings from Germany. Sayonara, Stefan. Asal ya maraton tawada dari ujust andingnya untuk top asal ujust dia lut. Bagi tanah safu kuka maraton bujuk zi tawada dari alon. Ba alam us alu yang balu tu udah teru tu lut tawada dari asal nafsi alon. Bagi masyarakat Boston, London, Tokyo, na Rotterdam, Beijing bujuk buat tawada dari asal nafsi alon. Selagi kuka maraton anda ziu. عشان نفعل الأمان ومكتور دارو ديال التروس عاد يمي جاب بات بوتا سلوه نه بوتا هم بتعم ترونهم بيعس دست بوتا نو يود در بوتا هم هزبون بتعم دست بالله ونا بزاب مودار ري دست دنيا نه يا فوكو كاميراتون بميك التروس بمسرزو وبتعم ريال زمكوت بتعم عزيني اللون مسرز على نبرة بتم هي ننم دمو يا جابان أتلتيكس فيدريشن Ini nas bobat fokus maraton alam us alu kami balut ya maraton udah drug gold tabulat bumi terutus andinya ya fokus maraton selona masa razil lebatam ini nanti Jepun Athletics Federation asal kalau ada udah drug ya mimat lebatam biasa gajet turun orang betam bumi serazu bumi kat terlalu amat hatuj betam ni azan kut selesai Mengistim Federasi No Masyarakat ini yang biasa kerja tu orang ini yang asal bok malam gizi untuk lancar dan awal. Angkutnya yang sedang jombok nak kau itu, hingga Dongyong Olympic Marathon debut team jombok nak kau ini Kim Jae Ryong ini. Kripo. 어, 저를 또 소개하고 싶은 것은 일본 마라톤, 산진 마라톤을 본받기 위해서 저 아들, 저 아들을 나가사키에 있는 진체고등학교를 입학을 시켰습니다. 그러고 나서 그 3년 학교를 다니고, 어, 지금 현재 간토 가쿠인이라는 요코하마에 있는 대학교에 지금 육상도 활동하고 있는 김용훈 아버지이기도 합니다. 지금 보니까 제가 91년도에 6위를 했습니다. 그때 후쿠오카 마라톤은 상당히 대단했습니다. 그때 세계 기록을 가지고 있는 맥코넨이라는 선수일 거예요. 그 선수도 왔었고 여러 선수들이 왔었는데 제가 과연 국제 무대에 이름을 
날릴 수 있을까라는 생각이 들었었는데 그런 세계 기록을 가지고 있고 일본에 그냥 면으로 하는 선수들 있는데 그 선두 그룹에서 저 같이 뛰, 뛰고 아쉽게 6위를 했다는 것에 대해서 아쉬웠지만 우리 한국 선수들한테 희망을 주지 않았나 라는 생각이 듭니다. 그러고 나서 그 이후에 저희들이 90년도에 주름을 잡았던 우리 한영조 92년도 올림픽 금메달 그리고 이봉주 선수 그리고 뭐 김한기 선수 백승도 선수 여러 선수들이 있습니다. 그런 선수들이 어떻게 보면 후쿠오카 마라톤을 기점을 두고 우리가 희망을 가지지 않았나 라는 생각이 들어서 저기 너무 좋은 아주 희망찬 그런 대회라고 생각합니다. 아, 일본이 세계적인 마라톤 강국으로 알고 있습니다. 어떻게 보면 아프리카 세도 있지만 어떻게 아프리카 세를 떠나서는 세계 최고 강국이고 아프리카 선수들을 봐도 적응하는 그런 일본 선수들이 많다고 생각합니다. 그건 바로 뭐냐? 후쿠오카 마라톤. 여러 마라톤이 있겠지만 일본에 후쿠오카 마라톤이 있어서가 아닐까라는 생각이 듭니다. 너무 아쉽습니다. 그리고 저희들도 일본을 배우고 싶고 후쿠오카를 통해서 많은 선수들도 파견을 하고 싶었는데 실력이 아직 안 되다 보니까 그 정도까지는 못한 것 같습니다. 너무 아쉽고 대회가 더 길어지기를 바라지만 무슨 사정인지 모르지만 여기서 75회 정도로 끝난 것 같아요. 그래서 저는 너무나 아쉬운데 이 대회가 앞으로 없어지지만 우리한테는 레전드 같은 그런 대회로 기억하고 싶습니다. 참 아쉽습니다. 감사합니다. Tanana Gari Balano Patalayayu Alama Kafochi would deter to Pamuki Ashen Fando Fokoka Marathon in Basrazet Imatos at an outlet at Matamaret Ashen Fando Uletting Yamdamo Fokoka Marathon Sabatania with the Chando Italayayu Alama Kafochina Italayayu Agarochila Pizu Marathonuch Ashen Fando Ye Japan is Benna, ye Fokoka is but am Amasa Ganado, but am Amasa Ganado, Fokoka Marathon, but Makarato, but am Azinian law, Amasa Ganachuan law. Dionisio Serón les manda un gran saludo y una gran felicitación a organizadores del Marathon de Fukuoka que es un maratón que se va a extrañar en el mundo. El, el nivel competitivo, los atletas, la calidad, la calidez de los japoneses siempre se hacía presente en este evento. Espero que se pueda retomar en un futuro para que cualquier otro atleta como yo tenga la ilusión de ganar una competencia de nivel mundial donde estén todos los mejores corredores del mundo. Les mando un gran saludo y mucho éxito. Bom dia, amigo do esporte, estou aqui para falar da Maratona de Foca, que é uma das melhores maratonas do mundo, que foi a primeira maratona que eu fiz na minha vida. Essa maratona fez a diferença. E o meu grande amigo Felipe, que na época, nos anos 90, conseguiu essa prova para mim correr. Eu fiz 2 horas e 10, sendo terceiro colocado. E outro ano fui terceiro também no ano seguinte, com 2 horas e 15. Essa maratona fez a diferença na minha vida, porque é uma das maratonas mais importantes do mundo. As pessoas, os organizadores, têm o privilégio de ter participado dessa maratona. Eu acho que essa é uma das melhores coisas que eu fiz na minha vida. Essa maratona de Fukuoka fez tudo e fez uma diferença tão gigantesca que mudou minha vida. A minha vida melhorou para sempre. Tenho que agradecer sempre ao Felipe e aos organizadores da maratona de Fukuoka, porque Além de ser uma maratona mais bonita, acho que é um dos países que as pessoas são mais educadas, mais inteligentes, fazem tudo de bom. Então, tá de parabéns. Continue todo mundo junto. Olá, amigos. Sou Andrés Espinosa, maratonista mexicano e ganador do Maratón de Nova York em 1993. Este mensaje es para externar mi preocupación por la cancelación del Maratón de Fukuoka. 
Esta competencia representa uno de los eventos deportivos más emblemáticos y reconocidos por los maratonistas a nivel mundial. Desaparecerlo sería el equivalente a frustrar los sueños a las nuevas generaciones que toman al atletismo como un pilar de sus vidas, como eje para lograr la competitividad sana y el trabajo y esfuerzo continuo tan necesario para, per, para formar personas con carácter. Es mi deseo que estas palabras lleguen y resuenen en los organizadores de esta competencia, que los convenza de desistir en cancelarlo, de lo contrario estarían cometiendo un grave error, estarían cortando las alas no solo de sus atletas locales, sino de muchos otros alrededor del mundo. Como maratonista y participante de su competencia en el año de 1994, les invito a considerar esta iniciativa, denos una oportunidad, un espacio y una plataforma para que los jóvenes talentos sean capaces de lograr sus metas. Por 75 años han inspirado los corazones de miles de atletas, no permitan que esto acabe, sino todo lo contrario. Busquemos entre todos una solución que permita dar continuidad a esta competencia. Les mando un gran abrazo desde México. Bom, gente, é, falar da maratona de Fukuoka para mim é muito fácil, porque foi uma das provas que foi um marco na minha vida aonde nesse ano eu corri com o Fukuoka a quarta maratona e, e fui campeão do evento com recorde sul-americano e recorde pessoal. Então foi muito importante para mim. E é muito triste de saber que essa maratona, este ano, vai ser o último ano dela. E eu que tenho boas lembranças da, de Fukuoka e agora... Fico aqui no Brasil triste em saber que essa prova vai se tornar o último ano. Bom, peço aí aos organizadores que se possível dê sequência nesse evento e quem sabe ainda possa voltar a esse evento não só como treinador, como manager de atletas não só brasileiros como estrangeiro. Bom, Deixo aí meu muito obrigado à organização por, pelos anos que fui no evento, por tudo que fizeram por mim. Então deixo meu agradecimento especial aos organizadores da Maratona de Futebol, que possa continuar com esse evento que foi muito importante na minha vida como atleta e agora pessoal. Bom, obrigado e deixo para vocês um arigatou gasomastá. Hi, my name is Antonio Serrano from Spain. And in 1995, I ran the Fogoka Marathon. For me, it was a good, good experience. Uh, I prepared very good this marathon because one month ago, I trained in Venezuela in altitude. And 10 days uh, before the marathon, I traveled to Fukuoka and I have a good experience uh, these days there. I, I know the, uh, like the people live in Fukuoka and for me, staying in Japan these days was very, very, very uh, special. At the race, the day uh, was not so good because a little rain and another thing that the Japanese uh, athletes qualify for the Olympic game for Atlanta and for this uh, they are a pacemaker and until final of the marathon we we have a big big group in the half marathon we are maybe 40 or 50 athletes in 65 something and after the last 10, 5 kilometers, the group uh, reduced until seven outlets. And in the last uh, three kilometers, one Brazilian, uh, one Japanese army uh, go to the finish lane for to decide who will win. And the last lap in the track was very, very exciting because it was a big, big sprint. And unfortunately for me, it was second, but I was very, very happy because second in the important Fukuoka Marathon was very good for me.
at all, the experience in Fukuoka was one of the best in my life. 안녕하세요. 아, 저는 이 후쿠오카 마라톤 제 50회 우승자 한국의 이봉주라고 합니다. 이번 75년 역사와 전통을 자랑하는 후쿠오카 마라톤 대회가 없어진다고 하니까 너무 아쉽네요. 이 코로나 때문에 전 세계가 어렵고 힘든 상황이죠. 하지만 이 대회가 역사 속으로 사라진다고 하니까 너무 속상하고 정말 안타까운 마음 뿐입니다. 이 저한테는 이 후쿠오카 마라톤 대회가 아, 제 마라톤 최고의 명 경기로 이 자리매김 되어 있습니다. 제 가슴 속에 평생 잊지 않고 갈 것입니다. 아 그동안 대회 관계자 여러분들 정말 수고 많으셨고요. 아 진심으로 감사드립니다. We just had to go. I never said South Africa. Momonyo wuna ifuko ka marathon no 1997. Yenza iskati esisi ga kulu ben kala gusa yenza ga kichima 207. Iskati sang chabli saga kulu. Ifuko ka marathon ni babang nigeza ituba emba guguina ama olompiki utibang invite utinyo kichima. Ifuko ka marathon. Nya chabula ga kulu nende labang patanga yung embato ya baba patanga ya bandu unga ago nga kichima iskati esisi ga kulu. Sang chabli sa leso skati. Na manje ngizwa ukshungu njongo babati iya valu. Binga tanda kutama sponsor kubege ngu sponsor. Koto wage ngenle la wenze ga ngaya kseke nginga kwenza ngoba. Seba fimili lispitu inso kuti iya valu. Nyaga wae wukina. Nyabo nga guwa wonka ma organizer. Nezi sponsor bizi sponsor yonki limi nyaga. Eye njule. Nyabo nga. Baba nigeza bandu itu baba ndu ba international kuti beze bazo kichima baba inviter kuti mabeze ba kichime ifuko ka marathon ni abonga kakulu ma organizer ifuko ka marathon Hola soy Abel Antón bicampeón mundial de marathon Quiero felicitar a la marathon de ifuko ka que participé en el año 97 después de ganar mi campeonato del mundo en Atenas. Quiero decir que tengo un gran recuerdo de esa maratón, del buen trato que recibí en el momento que llegué allí a Fukuoka y bueno, y es una de las mejores maratones del mundo que para mí pues fue un orgullo poder participar en ella. Ese año me quedé cuarto, tuvimos un día malo lluvioso pero sí que es verdad que aún así había muchísima gente en la calle animando porque es una maratón que tiene un gran prestigio a nivel mundial. Por lo tanto, espero que, que este 75 aniversario no se termine aquí y que se siga organizando muchos, muchos años más. Por lo tanto, mucho ánimo y adelante. Let's get Zenia Barrabaralo. Japan, Gdilani, Tlik, Botarlo, Fukuka Marathon, Bamrot Bassat. Behutust, Japan, Fukuka Marathon, Tlik Safralo, Bazansat, Buzu Marathon, Chin, Arot Kumnabar. Olympican, Bamuada der Bassat, Lamaja Maragri, Minamayama Taubet, Marathon. Gdi Malen Kaunagar, Ye Japanese, Tlik, Svenalo. بتعم تلك أكبرت عندي. سلذي يفكوك على ماراثون بريجامي بيوتي وست تلك سفرة له يوتي ملاي تلك اللوت يا متعب بتنا جنزب ميا جنوبت يفكوك على ماراثون. سلذي إجابان نسب بتعم مودا شونا ما كبراتشو كيتوبيا بهالجار بتعم تمساسا يالونا سكم جزيم بيوتي وست مارساو. حزب مهونون لما قلص ودال ما تعمل موداتش عريقة غزاي ماس فاندرلي دي ليما برازيو
Falar da Maratona de Fukuoka, para mim, me traz grandes lembranças. Essa prova que foi memorável para mim, onde que eu consegui excelentes resultados, marcas muito boas, que também me trouxeram grandes oportunidades, não só dentro dessa prova, mas também oportunidades que abriram depois do resultado de Fukuoka. E certamente essa prova marcou muito a minha carreira, devo muito a Fukuoka, ao Japão, por ter me proporcionado essas grandes oportunidades, assim como também a outros atletas. É lamentável falar que depois de 75 anos de grande história dessa prova, é, vai deixar de ser realizada. E fica aqui o meu sentimento né, de que essa prova não vai existir mais, mas daqueles que o qual participaram, certamente deixaram grandes lembranças e certamente vai deixar grande saudade também. Então, fico aqui muito triste, mas pelo outro lado, agradecer a Fukuoka por tudo que fez por mim. Muito obrigado, Fukuoka, por tudo que você representou ao esporte mundial. And the Salke from Sweden here. I had the opportunity and the favor to run fantastic Fukuoka Marathon in year 2000. I remember we were lining up inside the stadium and the starting pace was really hard and really tough. So out on the street I had to settle back for the second group. But in the front the fantastic Japanese runner Atsuchi Fujita went away to the win in 2.06.51, a really great time. I, for myself, I did a good race. It was uh, really inspiring to be in Fukuoka to run. So I had 2.15.33 and I pick up uh, my place in the race to 8th place in the finish line. I remember it was a great event, well, very well organized and everybody was kind. And the, this historical race made me feel really excited to run. Now I'm sorry to hear this will be the last edition. I hope in the future Fukuoka Marathon will come back in some way, maybe to put in some hobby runners to make it bigger, but still have this really great elite field. I wish you all good luck in the future and uh, wish the last edition of Fukuoka Marathon will be great. Thank you. えー、皆さんエリクアイナイナです。私は75回の福岡マラソン歴史ある大会亡くなるって聞いた瞬間すごい寂しくなっちゃったです自分で3回走った1回は棄権しましたそこから棄権してから自分で強くなりましたなんでかもう1回福岡復活したらもう一回走りたいと思ってます。ぜひ、この大会は思い出たくさんあります。自分の中は、人生の中、棄権したことない大会、福岡だけはあるです。今も、いろんな大会走るけど、棄権したくない。でも、完走したい。福岡のおかげです。ずっと続けて走りたいです。これから、残念けど、もう一回福岡二つしたらもう一回走りたい。今回は残念です。でも頑張ります。よろしくお願いします。Hola, me llamo Tony, Tony Peña. Tengo ahora 51 años y el maravilloso honor de decir que participé en la maratón de Fukuoka del año 2003. Conseguí terminar cuarto con una marca de 2 horas, 8 minutos y 10 segundos. El año 2003 era el año previo a los Juegos Olímpicos de Atenas del 2004. Y el hecho de que participara en Fukuoka me permitió ser seleccionado para representar a España en los Juegos Olímpicos de Atenas. Estos han sido mis mejores años deportivos. Y ahora, 
después de 20 años, yo os puedo afirmar con rotundidad que nunca olvidaré mi paso por esa emblemática maratón. He sido profesional de, de, de atletismo, he viajado alrededor del mundo corriendo maratones, incluso puedo decir que corriendo las mejores maratones. Ahora bien, correr en Japón es otra historia, es otro concepto. El trato, el respeto, la empatía que se profana al atleta. Mira, Lake Biwa y Fukuoka son mis ciudades de Japón. Las quiero y siempre las llevaré dentro de mí. Yo he dado mucho para el atletismo, pero estoy seguro que eh, la maratón me ha dado mucho más a mí. Y es una gran pena, es una gran lástima que esas maratones no se vuelvan a organizar. Mira, ojalá pudiera decir, pudiera grabar otro vídeo donde donde eh, el sentido fuese, fuese diferente, donde yo expresara mi alegría por el hecho de que esas maratones se vuelvan a organizar. Fukuoka es y será una fábrica de sueños. Mira, soy Tony Peña y me siento orgulloso de decir he participado en la maratón de Fukuoka. Hi, this is Aile Gabrasselasi. I won a Fukuoka Marathon 2006. That marathon was amazing. I remember you know, the race. The race was so fantastic. The atmosphere, the organizer. It was one of the best organization. But now, what I heard, you are going to stop this marathon. I wish to keep you know, this marathon in the future for the athlete who want to run uh, that uh, fantastic marathon but no matter what the organizer they are really organizing you know the top marathon a best marathon i wish you know just to keep you know this marathon in the future no matter what congratulations for the last many years what you have done you know, for athletics not only for the japanese for the whole world I don't know how many runners around the world, you know, they were running there. I think every marathon runners around the world, you know, they ran that marathon. Please, thank you very much. I've been, you know, just that marathon and uh, I wish you the best in the future. My name is Agei Kabeda. I have won in 2008 Olympic Beijing Marathon, the bronze medal, and beside also have won several times the World Marathon Major Competition. In 2009 and 2010, I have also won the Fukuoka Marathon. My memory in Japan, especially in Fukuoka, was unforgettable. Japan is for me very special, friendly people and nice food. Winning in Fukuoka was one of the highlights in my running career. I will never forget it. Will remember for the rest of my life. Thank you very much, Fukuoka Marathon. Chamo Luís Feiteira. Fui atleta olímpico em Atlanta em 1996, na disciplina de 1500 metros e também olímpico em Londres em 2012, já na distância da maratona. Dediquei-me 100% à maratona com 30 anos de idade, pela mão de um grande treinador, o antigo maratonista Manuel Matias, atleta que conta com muitas presenças e excelentes resultados na Ásia como por exemplo na clássica Maratona de Fukuoka, logicamente. Da apaixonante Maratona de Fukuoka, guardo duas recordações que marcaram bastante a minha vida. Uma no ano 2009, que me deu imensa felicidade, pois alcancei a sexta posição da geral, e outra que infelizmente marcou a minha carreira pelo lado negativo, pois a quando da minha presença na Maratona de Fukuoka, no ano 2015, sofri um tromboembolismo pulmonar cerca dos 5 km de corrida, que logicamente me obrigou a abandonar e a ser assistido. Passados todos estes anos, continuo a competir, 
e por ironia do destino, este ano tinha pensado em voltar a competir na Maratona de Fukuoka, quando logo a seguir obtive o conhecimento de que este ano seria a sua última edição. É notícia que me deixou bastante triste, logicamente. Apesar de tudo, em meu nome e também em nome do meu treinador, Manuel Matias, só me resta agradecer de tudo o que Fukuoka pôde fazer por nós e, claro, se as condições de saúde mundial o permitirem, tenho, uma das, tenho como uma das possibilidades uh, tentar voltar a competir na Maratona de Fukuoka este ano de 2021. Deixo um forte abraço a toda a equipa organizativa da Maratona de Fukuoka e até qualquer dia. Bye! Hi, je suis Jawad Gay, double champion du monde de marathon et vice-champion olympique. J'ai couru le marathon de Fukuoka en 2006 et en 2010. C'était une extraordinaire et formidable organisation. J'en garde un très bon souvenir. Hello, I am Dimitri Safranov and I am Russian professional marathoner and distance runner. I mean, used to be. Uh, so, in uh, 2010, I've got second place in Fukuoka International Marathon. This is my medal. It looks like this. Uh, very beautiful. Uh, I'm still thinking that uh, that marathon was the biggest success in all my running career because with that time which is 2 hours 10.12 it was almost impossible to get in top 3 but so somehow I did it you know <laughs> and I remember when I finished it my manager almost like ran to me and like screaming like Dima you got second position like second place and uh, the other people they also was telling me that I did very smart race, very smooth speed and stuff like that. But I told them back that it wasn't like really smart, like because <laughs> I just couldn't run that fast as people in the front run, uh, runs, you know. And what happened after that, that they all start running like slowly and I pass them. And uh, I finished this race in the second position and lose only Garib. And uh, I was happy and I'm still happy when I uh, start uh, like remind these uh, feelings you know and uh, I would I would uh, uh, talk more about this uh, marathon but my English is not so well now and <laughs> I just want to say like uh, thank you to all organizers that 11 years ago you invite me and uh, yeah, thank you guys. Bye. Konnichiwa, this is Lamberi Jospat, winner of Kuoka Marathon 2011. Before I enter, Fukuoka Marathon list, listen my stories. Dambel went to Japan when I was 16 years old. I make my career. I went to high school. After high school, I went to a company called Komori Corporation and went by in 10,000 meters. I recorded the best record until now. No one had break it, including Gabriel Slasia. So I started preparing my my marathon in 2010. I trained there in Japan. I was very well known about climate. So I was willing, confidence to won the race under 2 minutes 08. But I won it with 2 hours 07 minutes 
data six seconds. The race started very well with the pacemakers at 25 kilometers. The pacemaker dropped. So I paced, but no one to follow. Where I recorded an historic, historical from 25 to that kilometer and then 14 minutes 35 seconds. So, guys, anyone can make to learn this marathon. It was my debut, and I make mandates to one. So, I congratulate Fukuoka Marathon organizers and I wish you all the best game. Asante. Hi guys, I am James Mwagi Macharia. I'm from Nyahururu, Kenya. In year 2011, I ran Fukuoka International Marathon. I was number two. Time was uh, two hours, eight minutes, 21 seconds. Uh, to me, the time was excellent because it was my very best time in life. I enjoyed the race because Japanese, from starting to the end, they were cheering us, which made my spirit to keep on moving. In this life, uh, in everything, we have to endure and we have uh, to be patient. Therefore, never give up. Thank you and God bless you. Bye bye. I ran Fukuoka International Marathon three times in my career. The first time was my debut marathon. I uh, had a tough race, uh, hanged in there on the second half. Can't remember too much um, about the later, later stages, but uh, came across the line and collapsed and uh, running uh, 220 on my debut marathon. Um, the second time was in uh, 2008 and I managed to run a, a two, minute, two hours and 14 minutes PB and qualified for the um, World Championships the next year for Australia. And um, that was uh, pretty exciting to run a PB. The third and final time was in 2011. I ran, I went out pretty hard and uh, hanged in there and came across the line and, line and ended up with my lifetime personal best of two hours, 12 minutes and 23 seconds, finishing eighth place picking up the, uh, the plate here for, for eighth place and uh, uh, qualified for the Australian Olympic team which um, got me on the team for London the next year. Uh, my memories more in general are like the, such the hospitality of the organising team and the Japanese people, the crowds on the sidelines being so loud the whole time um, and also just the amazing logistics of making an event like that put on the road closures, the rolling road closures were pretty amazing. And um, it was a really great experience travelling to um, Fukuoka three times in my career. Thanks very much. Henryk Szost, Polska. Maratończyk z rekordem życiowym 2,7,39. Pierwszy raz w maratonie w Fukuoka wystartowałem w 2012 roku. Po Igrzyskach Olimpijskich w Londynie, gdzie zająłem dziewiąte miejsce. W maratonie Fukuoka uzyskałem swój drugi wynik w karierze 2842. Jest to maraton, który odznacza się doskonałą trasą, niesamowitą organizacją oraz najlepszym dopingiem na trasie. Chciałbym podziękować organizatorom za zaproszenie mnie na ten maraton. Zawsze pozostanie w mojej pamięci. Dziękuję i pozdrawiam z Polski. My name is Kat Berniasangu from Zimbabwe. I took part in Fukuoka Marathon. I ran 211 in Fukuoka. So I'm always, you know, grateful for the opportunity that I was given by the race organizers. Also, I would like to thank my manager who, who organized for me to be part of the elite athletes of the Fukuoka Marathon. Secondly, I would also want to thank the organizers of the race for the opportunity that they, they gave me. And also the officials, the marshals, the traffic officers who made sure that the event was, you know, good and up to the standard. I'm always grateful to the to the race organizers for 
for inviting me to that important race. It's a sad story to hear that the, the marathon will no longer continue, but the memories always stay forever. And I'm looking forward to, you know, to, to see some of the new uh, plans that the Fokuka organizer have. My name is Martin Irogo Madadi from Kenya. I won Fukuoka in the year 2013. I enjoyed the race. I had a great time as it was my first win in marathon. But this year I was shocked to hear it will be the last edition. But I hope the organizing committee can revisit the decision and it is started again. Hi, I'm Reed Coolset from Canada. I ran the Fukuoka Marathon two times. I raced it in 2013, where I went with the lead pack. I faded, but still managed to finish sixth in a time of 2.11.24. I then came back in 2016, and that time I had a more conservative pace, and I finished seventh in a time of 2.10.55. Both times were great experiences. I really liked the course. The fans were great. The organization, top notch. And one, I think one of the most special things about Fukuoka is the history that the race had. The Canadian record was set there in 1969 and then again in 1975, and that lasted all the way until 2018. So a lot of history at the Fukuoka Marathon, especially for Canadians. Hola, soy Aya Dambesen, atleta español de maratón. He corrido el año 2013 el maratón de Fukuoka me quedé el octavo con marca de 2 horas 13 31 segundos sobre la última edición de maratón de Fukuoka después de 75 años era muy triste ser por ser la última y deseo mucha suerte a todos Hello, my, na my name is Patrick Macau and I believe from Kenya and a former world record order talk a bit of uh, Fukuoka. Fukuoka it's a very nice race uh, with a very good organization. I've been there 2015, 2016 and 2017. Where are 2015 I won, 2016 I won and 2017 I was number two and through good experience and warm welcome from Fukuoka people. That's why I managed to run very well. I hope and I think this time 70, 50, 50 year of Fukuoka International Marathon. It will be more good and well organized and uh, we are hoping this time we will have uh, more at least from all over the world and we are hoping they will run their best time as we celebrate Fukuoka International Marathon. Thank you. My name is Sirat Patachar. I am a marathon runner of Mongolia and I participated four times for Coca International Marathon. On 77, 2014, I participated for Coca Marathon. Ran for 2 hours, 8 minutes, 50 seconds. And I award bronze medal and set a new Mongolian national record. I completed the marathon and to that day remember what a great event it was. And I will never forget it. It was a proud moment for me. I wish all the people who are celebrating the 75th anniversary, uh, which, which is the last event for 2021, the very best of luck, the future. My name is Paulo Roberto de Almeida Paula, conhecido no mundo do atletismo como Paula Paula, brasileiro. E venho fazer esse pequeno vídeo aqui falando um pouco é, da Maratona de Fukuoka, que esse ano será é, a última edição que vai ser realizado no ano de 2021. E é com muita tristeza que eu venho fazer esse vídeo 
quando se trata de uma grande maratona e do tratamento que o povo de Fukuoka dá para cada atleta que lá estiveram. Eu só tenho boas lembranças de Fukuoka. Eu fui é, sexto lugar em 2015, quando eu obtive a marca de 2 horas e 11 e fiz o índice para a minha segunda edição dos Jogos Olímpicos, que seria Rio de Janeiro. E, para mim, é muito triste saber que esse ano de 2021 será a última edição. Então, é isso daí que eu tenho que falar e agradecer toda a organização da Maratona de Fukuoka, que tem toda a minha admiração, porque eu tive presente em 2015 e depois retornei em 2017. E todas as vezes que eu fui para Fukuoka, é, o tratamento foi o mesmo. Sempre a organização impecável. Então fica um forte abraço aí do Paulo Paula. First of all, I would like to thank you, the organizers of the Fukuoka Marathon and the people of the city, as well as people of Japan, because it is very popular in Japanese athletics, especially marathon. And I also participated in the Fukuoka Marathon in the first time, 2016. I competed with the Patrick Macau, the previous World Recall Order in marathon. I won this big marathon for the first time and it will be one of the most memorable moment on my life. I plan to reopen the Fukuoka Marathon which is closed all over the world due to the COVID-19 and win again. Finally, I would like all the people of Japan protect your health from COVID-19. Hello. Sundri Nordstamon here, the winner of Fukuoka Marathon 2017 in a European record, 205.48. It was uh, the best day of my career um, until now. The best thing with uh, Fukuoka was the amazing crowd along the um, streets. I'm training for the Olympic Marathon and uh, hopefully I will be back for the last uh, edition uh, of Fukuoka Marathon. I am Steven Kiprotic, Olympic and World Champion in Marathon from Uganda. Uh, I had a privilege in 2017 to race in Fukuoka Marathon. And uh, what I remember from Fukuoka is uh, uh, my fans, so many people on the streets, and the people are friendly. And uh, it is sad again to hear that uh, it is coming to this last edition. My name is Arbidan Karoki from Kenya. I've run Fukuoka Marathon for many years, but it's so sad to hear that it's going to end from this year. I can say Fukuoka Marathon was the best marathon which have least in my career. Uh, and also on the, was the one of the best marathon of measuring the young upcoming marathoners. I can say thank you to the race organizer for having a good marathon for those years. Uh, mine is to wish them the best in the new chapter. Hello, my name is Amanel Messel. I am a Eritrean professional athlete who have participated in the Fukuoka Marathon for five consecutive years. Fukuoka Marathon for me is one of the best marathons I have run in my entire career because Fukuoka Marathon is one of the fastest races first. The course record of the Fukuoka Marathon is 205, which is one of the best and fastest times in the world. And the reason for this is because they invite many strong athletes from all over the world, including world champions, Olympic champions, and uh, world record holders. And also, 
Fukuoka Marathon is one of the best races because of the people of Japan in general and uh, people of Fukuoka in particular. I remember when I was in Fukuoka, the people of Japan was a good-hearted people with a good and nice hospitality. I remember in the race, people of Fukuoka was in the streets cheering for us, for the athletes, and give, giving us support. So this tells me how good the people of Fukuoka is and the hospitality they have. Another thing uh, is uh, the organizing committee of the race. They organize the race very well, starting from our arrival to Fukuoka in the airport until the race day. It was quite good and nice. So with all these things, I can say that Fukuoka Marathon is one of the best races I've ever run in my entire career. So finally, to hear that Fukuoka Marathon is terminating, for me it was uh, really it was a nightmare, it was a sad news. It was there for 75 years and I can say that it was playing a big role in developing world athletics and world sport in general. So the here Fukuoka Marathon is terminating by the end of 2021. Is a sad news for me. Thank you. Konchua. Morakana Federa said this, Ethiopia Kara, looking in my day, Nihon Chimashta, Takshukura Gaku, Hakone Kide, Izumo Kide, Zenon Kide, to Kanto in Kre, Ashimashta, Hakone Kide, De, Union Kande, Niku, Gamarimashta. Nisen Juchu Kara, Sagakin, no, Hiramat Bui, no, Ikiden Chimide, Haitemashta, Watashuamo, Nikade, Nui Kide, Mo Ashimashta Kiro, Marathon Nurin Shude, Mo, Gambate Ashramashta Nisen Jutunin no Fukuoka Marathon de Has Marathon Sai Data Demo Korekara de Watashi Has Marathon no Toki de Kokan Sai Yata Kara Korekara Gambatara Moto Fukuoka Marathon de Yusho Yaita Yakara Mo Gambertai Takara Morin Shure Imare Gambermashta No Hondoa Fukuoka Marathon de Yumi no Marathon de Ano Watashita Shite mo Sakai no na Sakai Marathon no naka de Tokyo Marathon to Dubai Marathon to ka Berlin Marathon to ka Sura naka de Fukuoka Marathon mo ichiba Yumi Marathon des. Sure ke do Watashi kita koto wa mo Lainen kara Fukuoka Marathon de Chushu yarimashita Sono koto kikimashita ke do Honto wa mo Fukuoka Marathon Chushu nai ho Ga iris. Watashi mo mada mada gamberitai kara Fukuoka Marathon de mo motto gamberitai da kara de honto wa mo chushu shinai ho ga iris. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Hi, I'm Abdi Yulat. The best memory I have from Fukuoka is crossing the finishing lines and knowing that I've qualified for the Olympics. That was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful feeling. And that is the one of my biggest moment and uh, much every day's motivation. But the other thing is during the race, the atmosphere was so, so crazy. And it was one of my best race. Just knowing uh, how big running is in Japan, it was absolutely amazing. I hope in the future to come back to Fukuoka and race again. Stay well and uh, have a good day. Bye. Hello there. I'm Mike Gilai, 26 years old. Running under Suzuki Motors Company, Japan. Trained and coached by Alata Fujiwara-san, the great Olympian, Adrit Noon, and former in Japan. Among the best marathon I have ever compete in Japan is Fukuoka Marathon. It's a great race. It has been a great race. And uh, since 2016, I have competed in this race. And by last year, I did my best of 2017. This is the great course and the well-organized marathon in Japan. Unfortunately, this year, the marathon is coming to an end. Every athlete in the world this was the best place to compete. Being the last marathon and the final this year, I'm looking forward to be there to compete and to do my best. This is the final and this is my last chance 
to compete there. I'm hoping I'm doing my best. I'm running my best. I'm running my best time this year. I'm looking forward to see you at the state line. See you there. Sometimes people look around and see the story, take a count and lay their head down on the stony ground. Come to nothing, I've got nothing, nothing to me, cold. me down Come to nothing Come to nothing Come to nothing
tonight.